In this video we're going to learn about how to make this button hover effect using the Elementor free version. It will have some custom CSS in it. So just don't skip, and watch the complete video. Hi! I am Alex from Essential Web Apps. And, we make videos on WordPress, website and social media strategy, web design, and development. To see our regularly uploaded videos. Please hit the subscribe button and click the bell icon for notification. Let's start with selecting the three column structure. Click on advanced and give it a margin. Now let's click on the dots. Select button block and drag that on your first box. Change the text as, read more. Choose a line center to keep the text in center. Now let's work with font styling. Press on typography, and quickly change font family, weight, size, and text transform. Done with font styling. Now let's apply some colors to the text. I'm keeping it simple by using dark gray for the text and white for the background color. Choose a solid border with 2 pixels width. Ok, now add a CSS class called BTN, for creating the button border. Hide the panel. Inspect this. Now, look for the BTN class. First, I'll work with a tag. So, targeting the A tag, and position it relative. Now, adding a before selector. Content property is blank, positioned at absolute. I want this under the button. So, Z index is negative. And finally, transition. You'll see the border if you hover on it. So again, click on the plus and add a hover selector. Slightly change the position to the top corner. Looks good. Now quickly save the code. Click on inline and copy the CSS lines and paste it in the additional CSS section. Publish. Click on Update. Let's see the preview. So we're done working on top left corner part. Let's work on the down right corner part. Again inspect the button. Targeting the A tag, and add A after selector. These are same as the before selector CSS. To bring it to the down corner, add a hover selector for after selector. And, change the right and bottom property. Move your cursor to check the button hover effect. Copy and paste these lines also in additional CSS section. Here I'm gonna organize the codes nicely. As I said, before and after selectors codes are same. So, let's minimize some lines. These are the common lines, for both selectors.
Do not need these lines anymore. Just keeping the positioning properties separately, as these are different in both selectors. Now let's keep everything in a nice order. To check the preview apply publish. Looks good. Make two more buttons by coping the newly created button. Super easy, just copy and paste. Change the contents real quick. Here you can also change the border color if you want. Let's match the border color also. For this step again click on Advanced, and take a CSS class called BTN Style 2. We use double hyphen because of BEM rule. Now copy these two CSS classes, and put it in here. Adding the new added class for both before and after selector. Only need to change the background color. I have chosen this color, but you can choose whatever color you want. Publish and update. Let's see the outcome. Don't worry we're almost done. Now for the third button, let's do the same. Publish it. And we're done with this gorgeous looking button hover effect, using the Elementor free version. Minimal, yet very professional. So, there you go. If you like this video, then don't forget to hit the thumbs up, and subscribe button. You need a fast loading website for business? And, we have that for you. Please check the description for premium WordPress theme. And, I will see you in the next video.